Martin Stepper Drabby here and welcome back. Um, so we just attempted our first stream with a, uh, <clears throat> I don't know why I put these on when uh, it's these ones that have the microphone today. Uh, so again, I will say Alola, friends, Stepper Drabby here. Uh, we are going over a Duskmane Necrozma today. Uh, that's right. Took him through a tournament and he won, but we're going to go through again since we were not able to salvage that recording um, for YouTube. And if you're wondering what I mean by salvage, I went ahead and streamed it on Twitch with a massive amount of issues. Um, anyway, a good so I was just saying, it just got caught off again. Something went wrong with the Bluetooth or something. But uh, what I meant to say is that we had massive issues on Twitch. We were not able to really stream effectively. It was really kind of haywire. Did not work very well. Um, my computer is just not equipped to handle it, which really sucks. Because I'd like to stream, but it's just like... When you have the the OBS and Pokemon Trading Card Game both running at the same time, and those two alone take up the entire CPU... Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Your computer's not meant to handle that. Which sucks, because, I mean, I do have an i5 processor, which I thought was okay, but it was really good, actually. But, um... It just doesn't work. I mean, it works well for, like, when I make my thumbnails. Works great for that. I have no problems whatsoever. Um, I can play the game, PTCGO, on it pretty easily, but... Streaming the game just doesn't work. But without further more ado, uh, without any more further ado, I shall get into this video, um, which is why we are here. Um, no, I don't want it to look like that. Uh, oh well. So it's gonna be a sliver. I'm not gonna re-edit it, so it's like there's gonna be a sliver up there, showing off my setup that's not good to set up so oh well could I like cheat it in a little bit Ugh. I know something I should have fixed earlier oh well it's just how it is uh, it's one of those nights but with that we're gonna be going over Dusk Main and Crosmo we went over the deck already I made one change one change and that is, I got rid of that Heatran I did not like, and I put in another Duskmane Necrozma, because why not? It is a Duskmane Necrozma deck. We got the tin so we could get two, two more, so why not throw one of those tin ones in there to see how it goes? So that's what we ended up doing. Um, and the deck is the deck. We are going to take it on to another tournament. We just won one. We're going to go ahead... And show another one. As you see, I just won one, so we might as well leave that event and start another one, right? I don't need to view the rewards. I know what the rewards are. We are just going crazy with this Dusk Tempest Trash. Dusk Tempest Trash. That's, that's a, a bit of a mouthful, I'd say. But, you know, we are two of eight... Hoping this goes a little quicker than the last one. The last one we filmed for about an hour and a half to get through it. Uh, this one, got in 10 minutes, so that was like wait time. This one, I'm hoping we get through a little quicker. I think I only have about like 40 minutes of space on my phone anyways. So, I'm going to run out eventually. So, if it does cut out in the middle, um, the the... The volume will change a little bit. We'll just end up going back to the microphone on the uh, PTCGO over the microphone on the video. Because the microphone on the video, I just like a little bit better. It sounds better to me. But that doesn't mean it's the better one. Um, but I'm no audio expert. Um, and I do not really... I don't talk a lot with my friends who are. So <laughs> it's... It's not like I can say, hey, come over and fix this for me, especially since I'm not living where I used to live, um, where they are. Uh, so we'll be waiting for a second. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the deck. Uh, I 
guess. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Let's just look at it and see what we did. So my favorite thing in this deck immediately is that Duskmane Necrozma, that Ultra Beast right here. The shot is awesome. Um, I was able, I was got, I got thwarted, but I was able to set up a Tapu Lele for a dust shot earlier by hitting it with a Silgaleo Prism Star's uh, Corona Impact, and then I was gonna retreat and then dust shot it to knock it out. Uh, but unfortunately, they had a max potion. They thwarted me. But uh, I was also able to win that last tournament with this Rusty Claws attack if your opponent has exactly one prize remaining. This attack does 100 more damage. So, I mean, I was able to bait them into taking out a... Uh, it was almost like I had two GX attacks, actually, because I was able to bait them into taking out a Tapu Lele. And then they took that out, allowing me to use... The Dusk Main GX's GX move Sun Eclipse, which took out another thing. And then I was able to Rusty Claws after that, which does 200 damage plus a choice band is 230. I was able to do that, and I was like, yes, it's like a triple or a double GX attack by letting them like get ahead, but then make it where they can't they can't pull off that last KO. Because they don't have the resources, which is pretty cool. I liked I like this card a lot. Dust Shot is also good. Because I noticed with Dusk Main Necrozma that it kind of struggles early game to really have anything to attack with. So I thought Dust Shot is a great attack for those early points in the game. You know, if somebody's going to throw down their Lele, so you're just going to Dust Shot it from afar and say, Yep, yeah, 60 damage. Yep, 60 damage there. Yep, 60 damage. And so that they can't really... They're like, uh, I need to get rid of this thing, but... It, yeah, so they end up like having to over themselves to try to get rid of this. Otherwise, they're like... They're worried about the three-shot on their Tapu Lele. Which is great. I like this card a lot. And we're playing three Duskmane Necrozma GXs. This is the one promo one from the uh, tin collection we got that we opened up. Uh, it's pretty well known at this point. 190 HP, Claw Slash, Meteor Tempest, and Sun Eclipse GX. Um, so it, it's actually done pretty well with Magnazone in tournaments because Magnazone can put down as many metal energies as you need, which is four. You need four metal energies to attack with Meteor Tempest, which is 220. Does 250 for three. I mean, sometimes you miss this a little bit, but we play a couple double colors so you can always Claw Slash um, for two attachments. We have the Slice Off Cortana GX. This is primarily to get rid of those special energies. Just kind of helps you along the lines of, uh, you know, kind of kind of disrupting your opponent a little bit, which is it's kind of the way this Dusk main deck is made. You're disrupting your opponent so that you set up faster than them and you destroy them because you have better attacks. That's that's really what it's what it's about. So we have Slice Off. This can also come in in a pinch if you're down to one prize. Um, there's no way to really take that last prize. You know, you just throw down Kartana, and if you haven't used your GX attack, use Blade GX to get that one last prize card. It's kind of nice. Um, Guild Blade can be useful in a pinch, but not, not you're not really going to use it. Uh, Registeel, we can play three of these bad boys for that Turbo Arm attack. Get an energy card from your discard pile onto one of your bench Pokemon. This is just a slow, methodical way to set up your Duskmane Necrozma. Um, if I could play, you know, four Prism Stars, I would play four Prism Stars, but because I can't, I'm playing, you know, three Registeels, which is kind of the closest second. You know, it at least does 30 damage, unlike the other attack, but uh, the other one can get six energy, so, I mean, I'm just going to say, like, the other one's better. Um, you get the Crimson Invasion special one, which is kind of cool. Uh, but then one of the other stars of the deck is Solgaleo Prism Star with that Radiant Star uh, attack. It's just so easy to, you know, Meteor Tempest, discard all your energy, retreat that into a Solgaleo Prism Star, and then Radiant Star, those three energies, plus some back onto your Pokemon. It just, it's really, it's a kind of a hard combo to counter, and then... 
if you want, you can Corona Impact with this, which does with the Choice Band does take out those big stage ones with 190 HP like Turtonator, Ho Oh, Buzzhole. Uh, can't take out Zygarde unfortunately, but that one's not here yet. I know a lot of people went to pre-releases and got theirs, but not here yet. It's coming. It's coming though. And then Tapu Lele, we play a standard two count of this to be able to search for any of those supporters. It's occasionally good for our first turn Bridget. Normally it's a Guzma chaser though. She just chases Guzma for us and brings them out when we need them to be able to retreat. Um, should probably put a Skyline in. Hey look, we're starting. Uh, the rest of the Pokemon line is two Trubbish, two Garbodors. And it's probably a pretty standard, uh, standard uh, supporter line. And then he's... Is there any special items we have? Multi-switch, I think, is the only really special item that we have that allows us to be able to send a metal energy or a, a double colorless energy from the bench up to our active Pokemon, which can help in a pinch. It's allowed me to power up Sogul, Leo, Prism Star in two turns That because I was able to... Uh, I had a Registeel in the active. I was able to max Elixir to it, Registeel an energy from the discard to it, and then um, attach, retreat, registeel, and then multi switch up, and I was able to be able to use its secondary attack that way to take out a very strong Garbodor. Uh, I think we're gonna start off with the steels. I'll throw the Prism Star down now, and we might actually. I'm gonna save this one. I might have to discard it because I don't need two of them, but we don't want to throw Lele down, and so we could bridge it. We are playing a Solgaleo with Bronzong. I like Bronzong a lot. Put three damage counters on a Pokemon that has any damage on it. I'm a fan. I could see that being utilized very well in the Tapu Koko, uh, Tapu Lele spread deck. But they're playing Solgaleo, which is kind of weird. I don't know why. Sogolio just like straight up knocks anything out, so it's a little interesting that they're choosing to have a damage adder like that. Up, and we are waiting for our opponent to choose an active Pokemon. So this will take a moment. We're eleven minutes in, so we better make this quick. So like I said, if the video does cut out at any point, we will still have the microphone on the other video. I've been trying to double record audio at least so that it can um, always have audio. Would you like to draw a card? I would like to draw a card. Uh, choose a Pokemon to start your bench? No. No, I don't wanna. Sweet, so we have draw supporters up the wazoo. We're going to go ahead and Bridget first turn if we can find her. If we do have her, so we're going to go ahead and Bridget. <laughs> Brigetti. Let's get a Trouble and a Duskmane. Uh, that's a little rough, but we already have what we need. So these things are the things we want to accelerate to. And since we do not have an energy we are gonna go ahead and put this dce on the dusk man we'll stop there next turn we can go ahead and get rid of the n and the registeel pull up a garbador so that at any point we can just shut off that ability um i'm not sure we're playing a super meta worthy deck though it has clink in it clink cosmog and bronzong Mm-hmm. So let me know what you guys think of that deck. Oh my god, they got the double heads. They could have knocked it out. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> I don't want to throw away a Cynthia, too. I'm going to throw a Registeel and in a way. Grab a Garbador. Garbidor. Uh... I'm going to save the multi-switch for later. And just go ahead and use Cynthia. Watch, I'm going to miss the card I need. Uh, maybe not. 
Uh, well, we did. We don't have a float stone, but that happens. We'll throw that down. Do we have an energy down here? We do not. So I wish I could just, like, throw this away. But we can't. And if we, in a pinch, if we notice they're using a lot of abilities this next turn. Actually, this will just straight shut them down. That'll just straight up shut them down. We've used all the abilities we need. So it's no problem to us to go ahead and get Garbodor active. Clank has 80 HP, so we gotta hit it for 50. Which, I mean, this is a non GX deck, so that makes it a little harder for me to take it out easily, but. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna retreat. Could Guzma, but I think I'm just gonna retreat because this thing seems more set up than the other thing. There we go, Claw Slash for the knockout. We get the Kartana, which is just fodder. And so if they can't evolve this, we win. If they can, we're prolonging this another turn. Dust Gathering. Well, thanks for the win. Don't even have to do anything. Claw Slash, take out the Nebby. Nebby, get in the bag. Nebby, get in the bag to finish off of that portion of the tournament. We have two more matches to really showcase this deck. Um, but it's going well. I mean, it's becoming one of my favorites actually it's not my favorite yet by any means but because i just i don't like playing garbage <laughs> but it, it's getting it's it's very fun to play it's very interesting and it has a lot of good counters what was this a clink clink genesect bronzong scissor sogaleo 27 pokemon 20 energies with 13 trainers Someone was like, my previous deck, previous deck worked really well. How do I make it better? Oh yes, add more Pokemon. So it's a newbie. It's a newbie. I'm glad they're actually going ahead and entering tournaments to try to get better. Um, but that was just unfortunate that they had to face me, a big bully. Um, but we made it through Targus. We're going to face up against Trainer Ninzu or Toro81. On the other side, Lethal has already made uh, their way through, and Croquetta and Sitka are still battling it out. Looks like we could have a 17 minutes before the next one. I think I might have to edit this out, to be honest. I think I'm just going to edit the three matches. So, I'm going to stop the camera here for a second. I'll start it back up when the next match begins. Looks like it's about to begin again, so we brought you back. Um, 10 seconds. We are going to be facing up against Trainer something. Trainer Ninzao. I didn't see who had the advantage or what they were playing. We are going to go ahead and click Tails. See what we get. We get the hello. Hello. I have no basics. I have a lot of basics. How do I have no basics when I have a lot of basics? It's a little disturbing. A little bit. Just a tiny bit. Not exactly what I want to see. Um, should I put more light over here? I don't know. Uh, stop worrying about the mulligan. Uh, we are going to start things off with that trouble. The trouble of the trubbish is that it's trouble. We can go ahead and get a metal energy in the discard pile to set up that radiant star or that turbo arm. Turbo star. That should be the name of that deck, right? Just you're never gonna have trouble. He puts the valley in it, so you never have trouble putting energies up from the discard pile. So you just have Savali line, Sogaleo Prism Star, and like four Registeels. It's the new Savali metal box, yeah. 
you just you never have trouble getting energy out of the discard pile. It's just always gonna be there. Lily. I think I have that Lily, but everybody plays the other one now. They like the other one better. So Talonflame and Sylvali it looks like. Oh, sweet. We get the double Lele. This is going to help us get that Brigetti. Oh, we have an Acerola prized. Acerola is prized. But we'll go ahead. What do we want? What do we want? Probably one of these guys. Probably that guy. Probably that guy. Um, unless something else will work better. I mean, I'm thinking I should want to. I kind of want a dust shot, but maybe Registeel is a better option here. We are throwing away an energy literally right away. Yeah, I think Registeel is a better option than, than the second desk main. And actually, Registeel might be a better option than Solgaleo too. Yeah, we'll come back for the Prism Star. We'll come back for that Prism Star. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're going to have to stop there because we don't have the switch power. We don't have the switch. I need the switch. So they actually went first, which means we went second. And that since we did not attack there, we're in trouble. <sighs> But I figure worst case scenario, we set it up to be able to... I don't know, we just don't have anything ready right now. Still think the Bridget was the better option, so we get our cards up quickly. I guess Sycamore could have worked, put us in a better board state, though. Had we, like, thrown away that energy. It's just always hard for me to throw away energies. Like, I'm just like, no, I can use that, though. I can use that. Why would I just throw it away? Because you're going to bring it back. That's why. Yeah, I guess if I would have Sycamore, got rid of the Acerola, the Choice Band. Probably could have used the Choice Band, actually. Put on a Lele or something. Uh, I would have been able to, you know, Sycamore out and get the car exact cards I need. I think what we may go after is that Dawn Wings. Ultra Ball. That's something we can use. Yeah, might as well Ultra Ball a Sycamore since we're not using that. A Cerola. Grab ourselves that Garbodor. Put it on the one in the back. question is to activate or not to activate abilities I think we're gonna cold stop abilities right meow um, we're putting that one there ah sweet we can do something sh cheeky we have no energies in the discard, right? We have no energies in the discard. So we can either pop something on this Dusk main. I keep seeing multi-switch and I'm like, I could just DCE and just claw slash this turn. That's not really useful. I'm gonna play some games. Play some games. I'm gonna go ahead and dust shot then the Krasma. We hit it three times. It's out of here. I would three. I would three shot Toros, but that just that that's just always scary. So we have a Sil Valley set up. It's gonna free retreat and start bringing up energies. It's got our. That's actually fine because we're gonna claw slash next turn. This is why I didn't prematurely use the multi switch because now I can surprise my opponent rather than like like they think they got me stuck unless I have a Guzma. But I have another option other than Guzma. I can just do the 
I actually have three options. Really? They're that scared of it? That scared of it? Wow. Did not expect them to just go... Yeah, I don't like that. That's fine, though. That really is fine, though. Um... I would max elixir, but I need the other mon. I need the other guy. Could DC up the to top Lele. That might be okay. 30, 60, 90, 100, 120. Not exactly what we want. That's a two shot at best. We are definitely gonna end this turn though. Yeah, I think we're going to throw this float here. I'd love to get rid of a metal energy here. But we don't want it on any of these guys. We want it on a dusk main. That works too. That works to you. I'll put one there. Oh, I might as well max elixir to it as well. Ah, oh, I missed it. I missed the max elixir. Dang it. There's a two shot. One more shot on the Dawn Wings, and it's donezo. No more funzo. So I gotta be a little more interesting with this now. Ace of Roller up that Dawn Wings. Really? I would have, like, picked up... I would have picked up Tauros and put it back in the deck and then Ninja Boyd to bring it out and put it in place of that Dawn Wings. Although I don't have to be as scared of that right now. So we did 120 damage there. We get the other Duskman. The other Duskman. I'm gonna want energy, though. This sucks. I'm kind of in a tough spot. I'm going to throw that DCE on to uh, Tapu Lele. Problem is I want this guy next turn, but I don't have enough energies in the discard pile to make it worthwhile. An Ultra Ball for with the energy to get it next turn. That is a good option. That is a good option. So I think we're just going to... Knock down this guy a little bit. I'm going to go ahead once he takes out this. We're going to throw a Registeel up there to get another energy onto the Prism Star. And then maybe we can find ourselves a Choice Band to be able to take out this uh, Sil Valley that's causing us such issue. This might be our first... Uh, Bad matchup. We've been doing really well with this deck. Been able to take on almost anything. And we might have just ran might have just ran our course. Ninety so we'll have hundred and twenty left. Which means top of the way they can take it out. So we're in a good spot now. We're in a pretty good spot now. Oh, wait, I wanted to throw that away, right? I do want to put that in the discard pile. But with what else? Probably another Registeel. Hmm. Could Guzma out something, but it has free retreat. No, it doesn't. Nothing has free retreat right now. So I literally could trap something. That might be fun. And then I can get back both energies. Get rid of that. And the steel, like I said. Grab ourselves our big old Dusk Man. Attach an energy. And another one. Go ahead and I think Guzma out this. 
yeah. Does not have free retreat. Put in the Prism Star. Go ahead and Radiant Star to get back both those energies. And put them onto the Duskman. Yeah, there we go. I think we can still come back in this matchup. So we can float stone this Prism Star and attack with Duskman next turn. That doesn't hurt us. Taking out the DCE didn't really hurt us. They got two energies onto Dawn Wings now. And they Guzma up something they can attack with. Good, good on you. Good on you. Um, that doesn't hinder us too badly though, because I believe we can take this thing out. Well, we weren't able to do that extra 30 on it, were we? Um, 60, so it has 150 right now. Um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, we don't have what we wanted to have on it. This thing has free retreat, so we'll put that up there right now. Until we decide what we want to do. It has 150. Hmm. What do we want? What do we want? I think 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60. I think this goes here, and I think I want to save the float stone. We're gonna go ahead and Cynthia get that second Garbodor to lock him up, and I think we put this here. Twenty, forty, sixty, twenty, forty, sixty, twenty plus the fifty. Equals Lele taking it. Do you need the stretcher for anything? I would like to stretcher some things. Probably a Garbodor line. And a dust shot, maybe. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Garbodor line. That shot. Because so we have a third one of these somewhere. And Lele, prove your worth. There we go. Two prizes. A uh, max elixir and in metal energy. So that's enough to power up our, our guy. Our guy next turn. The question is, is how much can they take care of this Lele? Um, I believe we do want a a Guzma play this next turn. We're kind of hoping to top deck it, which is a bad idea. But if we can, it'll be great. We're going to be able to one-shot things with the, uh, the Duskman right now. Otherwise, we have no way of coming back. If they can get enough... I think what they, yeah, they can't Moon Eclipse. If they could Moon Eclipse GX, we'd be in a lot worse trouble. But they really have to whittle down this Lele. That is their best hope to take something out, is to whittle down the Lele. And we've definitely got, had to use exhaust our resources a little bit more than they have. So going for the Psychic Energy right now to put on to the Dawn Wings. And they're hoping to attack for 120 to really put some pressure on to Tapu Lele so they only need a Guzma to win. We do have an Issa Rola though, so if we top deck that, I'm probably going to use it. I guess that might actually be our best play here. If they put out the Dawn Wings, if we can top deck and... Eight, or one Ace Arola. 
Okay, so they're trying to set it up so that Lele can be knocked out with this is Dark Flash, since they have that set up already. So we have the multi-switch. Multi-switch is not bad. Not bad at all. Can utilize that next turn. If this misses. <laughs> it didn't miss. Um, actually, we could utilize it this turn. Yeah, we could utilize it this turn. And attack with this thing instead. Saving us from an issue. How many energies we have down here, though? None. Alright, so what we want to do... 20, 40, 60, 80. Yeah, it won't knock it out. But this thing will... Yeah, there we go. And we could still Sycamore here, but I think we're going to save it for next turn so we can get the exact Mon we need there. We're going to Corona Impact and take out this bird. Take another prize, which is a Metal Energy. So now our goal is to only have to take out one of these uh, two GXs that our opponent has. Only one of them. And they decided it's Tauros that they want you to to take out over Lunala. So they're still trying to get... Um, I definitely prefer to take out Dawnwings. But we'll see what happens. What they just throw down? A Mewtwo GX. This deck has a lot of, a lot of basics. It's a uh, Silvalli basic box is what it looks like. At least that's what it, it seems like it turned into, is this a Valley Basic Box. Ninja Boy! It turned it into a Necrozma, which does enough damage. Do they have the Guzma for the win, though? They do not. They do not have the Guzma for the win, though. Alright, what do we want to do here? So they have this now. They're hoping that they... I think they have a Guzma. They would not play this if they didn't. Do we have any energy down here? We have DCEs down there. The question is, what do we want here? Go ahead and do that. Um, we cannot get the Guzma this turn, unfortunately. Uh, what can we do, though? We take the energy off of the... No, we can't. Yeah, they're only gonna have one prize left, so let's go ahead and do that. I think we'll do this a slow, methodical way. Oh, that might work, though. Let's see if the Max Elixir hits. It hits. Nice. I'll throw it on that. So now we can retreat for free and uh, knock out Tauros, but this thing's going to come back with 190. So we kind of need something to protect this. I think we're just going to manually retreat this. Good choice, man, but we don't really need to. We can definitely GX attack here. But we don't want to do that. We're going to Meteor Tempest. we might be able to showcase something that's not seen very often. So we're hoping that we can. It's just a matter of, of how much damage they're doing here. If they have a Psychic Energy, they win. They have the Lunala. They have the Psychic Energy. They win. That's well played. It did come down to the last hack, though. 
Um, so my idea behind that last ditch effort was if they could miss the knockout um, or if they decided to take out something smaller, I could, you know, throw down the Cortana energy, put it in, and blade GX for that last prize card. Alas, it did not happen, so we were able to be thwarted by Savali Basic Box. I knew they had a, a Ninja Boy in there, too. So they just happened to have everything they needed right at the right moment. We could not find that Guzma in order to take out that uh, Necrozma in time. So if you guys want to take a look at the weird... They actually started Talonflame Tune with one Talonflame. They started Talonflame. Ugh, jeez. So they had Tauros. They had uh, Lunala... They had a, a 222 Lunala, Shattershot Lunala GX, um, one Necrozma, one Mewtwo, one Cetacil Valley. They really rely heavily on getting that Talon to Flame out. That's. I don't know how they got that to work. I really do not know how they got all these one ofs to work. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. That's a lot of one ofs to get to work. Alter the Moon. A lot of one of trainers, too. Man, they just got all the right cards. Wow. There you guys go. If you guys wanted to see their list, go ahead and just methodically pause it and figure it out. But, you know, this has been Dapper Drabby. It doesn't look like I'm winning anything in this tournament. That's probably that deck's first... My, my deck's first defeat. Sexy Coins. Knockout. Knockout is so much harder to do. So any fire types? I think the fire revolution is going to be easiest to do next. Um, so that weird deck we just lost to is going to go face off with the tournament winner. And we're going to see who wins this tournament. Um, we're not going to open up any packs. We opened them up last time. And I think I'm running out of video space. So I'm going to go ahead and get this edited. Thrown up on YouTube. I want to thank everybody so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I will bid you guys a Lola, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.